Yo, why do I look like that? <laughs> this is not a good representation of me, I promise you. <sighs> I can't breathe. What is up you guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is erica and welcome to my channel and in today's video i'm going to be giving you guys a highly requested well-awaited skincare routine video this is going to be my daytime skincare routine if you want to see my nighttime comment down below and i can make a video for that but in this video i'm going to be showing you guys what i do for my skin every single morning for my day is it recording I would like to say that my skin is not perfect whatsoever. I still have a hyperpigmentation. I still get texture. I still get like a lot of different things on my skin. I still break out. I still have like dark marks and stuff. It might look like I have perfect skin, but I really just don't. Your skin changes so much. It changes like your hormones, your mood, your stress, sleep levels, what you're eating, the amount of water you're drinking. Your skin can be affected by so many things. So it's important to love your skin in the stage that it's at right now and in the stage and whatever stage that it continues to be in. So secondly, do your research. I am not a dermatologist. I am simply just a skincare girl. I am just somebody who has just been doing her research i used to struggle with acne hyperpigmentation i will insert some pictures right here so you guys can see that I've, i was not born with clear skin i was not blessed with genes i used to have really bad acne that i was very insecure about and maybe it was just puberty but i did my research i figured out my stuff and this is my skincare routine also this video is dedicated to my friend chimdi because she was pestering me for a skincare routine and i told her that i'm gonna do it just for you so if you're watching this chimdi this video is dedicated to you but a first step is to put your hair behind your just get your hair out of your face get everything out of your face so once you've had your hair out of your face and everything step two will be to wash your hands make sure you wash your hands before you wash your face because all that dirt you were touching you touch your phone the doorknob all that nasty stuff you were touching you're about to put in your face no ma'am no ma'am so make sure you wash your hands before you even touch your face once you have washed your hands the next step is to cleanse now for my cleanser y'all i literally i literally i swear by this cleanser this is the la rouge posay uh, laboratory dermatology cleanser it's so good la rouge posay if you're watching this video baby why are we why are we not working together why if you're watching this video la rouge posay please sponsor me this cleanser is so good. It's a foaming cleanser. You can get this one at Target. You can also get it on Amazon. Um, in terms of price, I think it's $15. Honestly, I know $15 might sound like too much, but this thing lasts me like half the year. Like, I'm not even joking. This So $15 for like a long time, is, especially when the product is really good, is like, come on. So that's that. We're gonna go ahead and wet our face. And you need to wet your face so that when you put the product in it, you can activate it. I'm going to turn on my water and put it in like lukewarm water. Not too hot, not too cold, kind of like in the middle. And then you're just going to like splash the water on your face. Like and just let it soak in after you wash your hands. Just for like, like a couple rinses before we go ahead and use the product. So over here, I'm just basically just showing you guys how I am just rinsing off my face before I put the product on. So just like taking lukewarm water, splashing that on my face for like a second or two, then I am taking the product. Usually a pump works, but sometimes I'll do like two little pumps and I'm going to lather that into my hands and then I put that, I'm going to put that on my face like so and really just massage your skin. Like you want to be gentle with your skin, like this is your face, so be gentle with it, but you also want to be effective. So just really get in there. Massages, I usually do this for about like 30 seconds, a minute max, but sometimes I get carried away but like just like really massage your skin your forehead your cheeks your t-zone area like under your eyes like just don't get it into your eyes and then i will rinse off with again lukewarm water until all the product is off my face so that is basically what i do just showing you a close-up of what my skin looks like after i've cleansed it as you can see it looks brighter it looks clean it looks good that's what we want in a cleanser okay it is important that when you're drying your face don't like rub your face you're just going to pat dry the skin not to rub it not just pat this 
after I am done drying my skin, I like to go in with the Ordinary's Nicer Than My 10% Sink 1% Serum. I love this thing so much. Like, it just makes my skin feel so soft, so amazing, and it really just does its job. It minimizes pores. It gives me, like, that natural glow, and I feel like it really just helps, like, keep my skin together. So over here, I am basically showing you guys how I apply the serum onto my face. So I'm basically just going to take like a, the squeezy thing, like one of that, and I'm going to squeeze it on my right cheek, my left cheek, my forehead. Then I'm going to slowly massage that into my skin again, gently, and just like really just get that into your skin. You want to do that for about like 20 to 30 seconds just to allow the product to actually get into the skin. And then you're going to let it dry for a little bit, maybe like a couple of seconds before the next step. I usually get the serum from Sephora. I think the ordinary has their own website. That you can purchase it from but i always just order mine from sephora so you can go to like the sephora store or just order online now that we have cleansed we have put in our serum it's time to moisturize and i do this by going in with the set fill daily facial moisturizer now for this one again i can either get it from target target sells it or Amazon as well. I think this one is like 10 or $15 if I'm not mistaken. But then again, like I said, they last really long. So like you're kind of making an investment to better your skin. So yeah. I usually like to just take it and do just like a big pump. I rub it in and then I just go over my skin. Like don't forget your chin area. Then you're just like basically going to massage it into your skin for like 30 seconds to a minute there's no like time limit to do this but like you're touching your own skin like it's up to you to determine like when to stop but i just like to make sure that it's probably properly it has proper properly why can't i talk today it has probably properly absorbed into my skin i don't know why i kept saying probably i meant properly absorbed into my skin like i'm waiting for the product to properly absorb Clearly, I couldn't talk, but um, you guys, you guys get the point, I hope. The final step, which I think might be the most important step, is the sunscreen. Don't forget your sunscreen. Even as like a person of color, it's so important to wear your sunscreen. There are so many sunscreens for like people of color. But the one that I use, and I literally swear by this sunscreen, is the Sunbum sunscreen. It is the facial sunscreen. I get this one at Target. I think it's $13. But this is so good, especially as a person of color. It doesn't leave a white cast on my face, and I really like it. So again, I just shake. I usually like to shake it because like it's kind of watery. And then I go in like so like so just like a good amount and then i rub it in and then i go over on my face i'm just going to wrap i'm just going to rub it into my skin and like i love this stuff so much like it doesn't leave a white cast on me at all just gotta make sure that you're ru like rubbing it into your skin properly so that it's not gonna leave anything on your skin but usually it doesn't leave like any white cast nothing it's affordable in my opinion at least compared to like other sunscreens and i just love it so much and it just gives me like that natural glow. all right you guys so that's gonna be it i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys enjoyed my skincare routine if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe also comment down below what you guys want to see on this channel it's summer i'm home now i don't have school anymore so what do you guys want to see from me on this channel and i will see you guys in my next video